today we will see the molecular orbital diagrams of n2 plus and n2 minus so this n2 plus and n2 minus molecular orbital diagrams are as same as the nitrogen here we will go with the electronic configuration and after getting the electronic configuration then we will write the bond order and the magnetic properties so n2 plus ion so n2 plus ion consists of 13 electrons that is 14 electrons like for the n2 molecule and one electron is removed so it is 13 electrons so the electronic configuration goes like this sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then it starts with the p orbital that is pi 2p x 2 8 electrons are over so we need to fill 5 electrons here so pi 2p y 2 then sigma 2p z 1 okay so the bond order bond order is called number of bonding electrons minus number of anti-bonding electrons divided by so bonding electrons are 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 minus 1 2 3 4 4 anti-bonding electrons so it will be 9 minus 4 that is equal to 5 by 2 so it is 2.5 the bond order of n2 plus is 2.5 now the magnetic property that is equal to we know that it has one unpaired electron one unpaired electron is there so it is paramagnetic it is paramagnetic in nature let's go with the n2 minus so n2 minus has all together 15 electrons that is 14 electrons plus 1 so it will be 15 electrons now the electronic configuration will goes like this sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 pi 2p x2 pi 2p y2 sigma 2p z2 so till here it is a as same as the nitrogen molecule electronic configuration okay so now the one electron one extra electron will goes to the either pi star 2p x pi star 2p y it may goes to the 2p x or 2 pi star 2p x or pi star 2p y at the as these two orbitals have same energy level so in this case i am writing here for the 2p x the electron is going to 2p x so here it is zero so now write down the bond order count the number of bonding elect bonding molecular orbital electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 minus 1 2 3 4 5 so 10 minus 5 divided by it is 5 by 2 again so it has the bond order of 2.5 again and then the magnetic property the magnetic property is it has one unpaired electron so it is paramagnetic in nature okay so in this way for the ions also we can write the molecular orbital diagram and as well as we can determine the bond orders and as well as the magnetic properties of a given ion we will see the electronic configuration and bond order and magnetic property of the oxygen oxygen related ions that is o2 plus O2 minus and O2 minus 2. So these ions electronic configuration we will see. Okay, we know that the electronic configuration of nitrogen to the oxygen it varies with the pi star p orbitals pi 2 px and pi 2 py orbitals will be have same energy and that will goes to the upwards and pi sigma 2 pz will have the lesser energy. We have seen 
already. So with that, we will start our electronic configuration. So O2 molecule, O2 plus ion will have the uh, number of electrons as we know that 16 electrons for the O2 molecule minus one electron. So it will be 15 electrons. So the electronic configuration will be like this. Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2. So here it comes sigma 2p z2, then pi 2p x, pi 2p y. Okay, so till here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons are over. So here the 2 electrons and here 2 electrons. And then it will goes to the pi star 2px and pi star 2py. So here extra electron will goes to the 2px. And the normal O2 molecule electronic configuration is we know that 2 pi star 2px1, pi star 2py1. So we are just removing one electron from this. So that we will get the O2 plus ion. So now we will write the bond order of it. So the bond order will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 bonding orbitals. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 are the anti-bonding electrons present in a, 5 electrons are present in a anti-bonding molecular orbitals. So, it will be the 2.5. The magnetic property, magnetic property will be, we know that it has one unpaired electron. So, it is a paramagnetic in nature. In the same way, we will write the electronic configuration for the O2 minus. O2 minus has 16 electrons plus 1 electron extra. So altogether it is 17 electrons. So the electronic configuration will go like this. Sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, then sigma 2pz2, pi 2p x2, pi 2p y2 and then pi star 2p x, pi star 2p y. So here how many electrons still now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So three more electrons need to be filled. So the next electron may goes to the 2p x or 2p y. Okay, as we know that the O2 molecule has 2px1, pi star 2px1 and pi star 2py1. So one electron extra to the O2 minus ion. So that one electron will goes to the either 2px or 2py. So it has become the 2 now. So now the bond order. So the bond order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so the 7 electrons are there in the anti bonding molecular orbital. So it will be 3 by 2, it is 1.5, right? Then the magnetic property. Because it has again one vacant, one unpaired electron is there, it is again the paramagnetic in nature. Now we will see the O2 minus 2. O2 minus 2 ion. O2 minus 2 ion has the electrons of 18 electrons it has. That is 16 electron, it's 16 electrons from O2 molecule and 2 electrons are included. So it has become 18 electrons. The electronic configuration will go like this. Sigma 1s2, sigma star. 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, sigma 2p z2, pi 2p x2, pi 2p y2. Then 
pi star 2px, I will write the electron later, pi star 2py. Okay, so till now how many electrons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 14 electrons are filled here. So 4 more electrons need to be filled in this. So those 4 more electrons will go to the 2px, pi star 2px2, pi star 2py2, sigma star 2pz0. So no electron will enter into this. So here we need to remember uh, uh, the bond order also. The bond order will be like again 10 electrons of the bonding molecular orbital and 8 electrons from the anti-bonding molecular orbital. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the electrons from the bonding molecular orbital and 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it has become 4 by 2 and it is 2. The bond order is 2 now. Then the magnetic property. The magnetic property will be, we know that there is no unpaired electron. No unpaired electron. So no unpaired electrons means it is a diamagnetic in nature. So if you look after the bond orders of O2 plus, O2 minus and O2 minus 2 and we know that the O2, O2 molecule bond order is 2. So these bond orders will decide the bond lengths of the these different ions of the O2. So there may be a question in the exam, write down the bond orders of O2, O2 plus, O2 minus and O2 minus 2 ions in order. So the order will goes like this, O2 minus will be less than O2 minus 2 will be less than O2 molecule and O2 plus will have the maximum bond order of 2.5 here. So the bond order, after the bond order, the bond length. We know that the bond order and the bond length orders are quite reverse way. Okay, if the bond order increases, the atoms will come together with the greater bond length will be inversely proportional to the bond order. So as the bond order increases, the atoms will come closer. So the distance between the nucleus of one atom to the another atom in a molecule will decreases. The reverse order of it will be the, the bond length order. So in this way, the questions will be asked in the exam. Now we will see molecular orbital diagram of F2 molecule. Till now we have seen for the nitrogen molecule, oxygen molecule, and the ions of the nitrogen and ions of the oxygen. So now we will see the F2 molecule, the molecular orbital diagram. So we will start with the same. So F, F, another F. So these are the atomic orbitals. Here I will write the atomic orbitals at the downwards and the energy, energy will be in the increasing order from bottom to the top. So the 1s orbitals will be written here. And we know that the F molecule or uh, fluorine atom has the electrons of 9 electrons. Okay. So here also the 9 electrons. And the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 5. So here also 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 5. It is better to write down this electronic configuration at the atomic orbital level. So now we will plot the molecular orbital diagram of 1s. Okay, 1s orbital is completely filled. So we will fill the electrons. So the electrons will be filled in the molecular orbital. So at the center, it is a MO, the molecular orbital. Okay, and this is the, the energy level. It is 1s2, 1s2, and this will be sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s. We know that the electronic configuration is 
2s2 and 2s2 and the electrons are completely filled so the electrons need to be filled the four electrons you know bonding molecular orbital two electrons and anti bonding molecular orbital two electrons so it will be sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s now it comes to the p orbital p orbital five electrons are filled so this will split in this way the lower energy level will be for the sigma 2p z then pi 2p x and pi 2p y then pi star 2p x and 2p y and then pi star 2p z so now these 10 electrons we need to fill in this molecular orbital. 6 are over, so another 4 need to be filled. So this is 2p5 of the atomic orbital, 2p5 of the atomic orbital. This is sigma 2pz2. It is pi 2p x2. It is pi 2p z2. It is pi star 2p x2. Pi star 2p y2. And it is sigma star 2p z0. So, in this way, the chlorine molecule atomic orbitals will be filled. Now, we will write the bond order. Bond order, the number of electrons present in a molecular orbital minus the number of electrons present in a anti-bonding molecular orbital. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 minus 8, that is 2. That is 2 by 2, that is the bond order is 1. We can conclude here that F molecule will be bonded with the another F atom will be bonded with the another F with the single bond. Now the magnetic property, the magnetic property. As it has no unpaired electrons in the molecular orbitals. So the F2 molecule is a diamagnetic in nature. No unpaired electrons. So in this way the molecular orbital diagram of F2 will be drawn.